Good day, blessed day, members, friends. We didn't have our morning prayer today due to some challenges as well, technically. But we are having a blessed evening. I'm having this chat with you with the title, You Are the Source of All Wealth. Yes, let me sit and repeat. I'm saying, You are the source of all wealth. I'm going to discuss with you and teach you today on about what I mean when I say you are the source of all wealth. We are going to go step by step. You are welcome to send me your questions. You are welcome to contact me. He's still your spiritualist master, Roger Katapena. Um, spiritual a professional spiritual advisor i'm a spiritualist i'm a guide i'm a teacher so we're having this session today with all of you and you can allow me to go through my notes in order to follow the chronology of my teaching today i say the title is for those who just join us now you are the source of all words meaning i am the source of all words by saying i am you identify yourself with that, I am. You need first to start believing. You need to start believing that everything that is happening around you, you can control it. People, it's, it's for people to say, I was not in control of this situation. It's beyond my control. But people tend to forget the other side of the question, what have you done in order not to lose control of the situation? So we are going to keep on progressing in a way that you need to learn how we are the source of the all world. We are going to, to read the same I'm rich with creative idea. There's no one who got your ideas. Even me, I don't have your ideas. They are yours. We too, they are not what we so-called fake. They are real. You are the source of your idea. But you find some people, they do not have the courage to, try, to trust their own ideas. They like to rely on other people's opinions, and then you lose it. You may want to be successful, but yet you don't have confidence in yourself. What are you telling your spiritual being? What are you telling the one in you? You are telling them that I'm incompetent. I can't make it. Don't provide me with the tools. So, you need to start correcting also your way of thinking, your way of speaking, by avoiding to limit yourself and say, no, it was not, it was beyond my control. Can't justify that. You, we are not discussing scientific things here. We are looking at the spiritual perspective of life. I'm a spiritualist, I'm not a scientist. I'm not engaging in scientific debate here. I'm showing you the spiritual line of solving certain and solving problems. I hope we're going to agree on that. You are the owner, the correct creator of your own ideas. And those ideas can change the world. Those ideas can transform life. Those ideas will make you grow and be respected. You might be asking yourself, with what I'm just thinking, can I achieve something? And I'm telling you, yes, you will. Even if people around you, they always tell you that your ideas are fruitless. But I'm telling you, 
you win. You are going to achieve, you are going to make it. Your idea are more important. All of us will benefit from it. As we believe in them, open up. Let us go to our second session where we're going to talk about how your idea are going to materialize. He's still a spiritualist master, Roger Katapeno. You are welcome to send your questions. You are welcome to contact me. I do provide public work, which I do online, and I do provide as well private work, which um, spiritual advisors have 